I don't care if it hurts. I just want to work. What is going on guys? Back with another video and in this video we're going to do things a little different from some of my previous videos, which if you haven't, you should probably go check those out. But this video will be a trailer breakdown of a new game that is coming out called The Day Before. Now, before we get into it, I'm going to let the trailer play first. And afterwards, I'll break it down mentioning some of the things I noticed or picked up on, some of the things that has me optimistic, and some of the things that may have me a little bit worried. But before we do, please make sure that like button is blue and subscribe if you're new. Now, let's play the trailer. Welcome to the short gameplay demonstration trailer for The Day Before, an upcoming open-world multiplayer survival game. The Day Before features a huge, stunningly detailed post-apocalyptic world destroyed by a terrible virus. I'm running out of fuel. Great, man. Awesome. We'll look around here, I guess. Shall we split up? Yep. I'll find out what's in the skyscraper. Okay, and I'll look around here. Let's see what we have here. All right, all right, all right. I have found a great cowboy hat. Tell her everything's all right. And there aren't any more guns in the valley. Easy, cowboy. Listen up. This is Woodbury Survivor Colony speaking. If you can hear this message, it means that we have opened our doors for new survivors. We can give you food and shelter and ensure your safety. Here are the coordinates. Did you hear that? Yep, I got a message too. Great. Maybe I can sell my junk there and get myself a better rifle. Let's find some fuel and go. In the Survivor Colony, you can sell and buy any items as well as cooperate with other players. In The Day Before, you can enter abandoned buildings and take whatever you want. The main thing is to be careful because not all players are friendly. <laughs> Let's pick up some supplies and get out of here. Let's check it out. Oh shit, got company. Could use some help now. The things are about to get heated. Over here! Gotta go upstairs. Okay, I'm running toward you. The snowstorm is starting right now, and the temperature is falling fast. Remember that when you shoot and make unnecessary noise, it can attract unwanted guests even more Fuck. terrifying than other players. The day before is teeming with hungry hordes of bloodthirsty infected, ready to tear you to pieces. Phew, that was close. I should have seen this shit. It seems he dodged a bullet. Now he's crafting a bandage so he doesn't die from bleeding. Hey, are you upstairs already?
the four coming soon. Okay, so a lot to break down and go over with this one. Again, the game is called The Day Before. It is an open world MMO set in a post-apocalyptic environment. There is no release date on it yet at the making of this video, but it is set to release on PC and later on all consoles. Now, if you're like me, one of the first things you noticed is that the game looks absolutely amazing. We're reaching a really fun time to be a gamer, to which I feel like we're almost getting spoiled with at how good some of these games look. The world around the character, the overall environment, and the atmosphere look stunning. The developer team is called Fantastic. Not too big of a name in terms of popularity. They made a few games here and there, but nothing the majority of you or anyone has heard of, and definitely nothing of this magnitude. Publisher is named Mytona, which is a mobile game publisher, yet this game is set to release on PC and all consoles. So there's that to keep in mind as well. It feels and looks like this game was made by a big developer, such as Ubisoft, or even maybe an EA, or some other big name studio, so that's what has me concerned. Can these guys actually pull this off? Could they be too far in over their head? Or will this be one of those hidden gems that flew under the radar until it wasn't? That being said, the trailer to me seemed a bit scripted. In fact, too scripted. To the point of cringeworthy, making it feel cheesy and gave off the impression that it's not exactly how the game would really play out, but sort of gives you the overall idea of the game's premise. This trailer in particular felt like it was marketed to build the overall hype of the game, rather than an actual representation of the game itself, and that's where some of the doubts come into play. Was it done strictly for marketing purposes, or was it done to mask the actual game itself and the flaws that it might have? Here in the bottom left, you can see a snowflake which I'm assuming to be temperature, along with an energy and water icon. So keeping true to its survival game premise, you will have to make sure your character is wearing the appropriate clothing for the environment, which, by the way, as you see later on, the game has dynamic weather, which is great. Making the weather not static and has the ability to change at any moment gives the game a you never know what's gonna happen feel, and that's always a good feeling. It brings freshness to every playthrough. With energy, we don't know if that means stamina, or how much you can run in terms of length before you get tired, how fast you can run, or if you need to remember to eat and things of that nature to maintain a high energy level to be ready to fight off other players and or zombies at any given moment. The last is water. Is that hydration? Is that cleanliness of the character? We don't know these things yet, but you can assume it's one of or all of the above because it's a survival MMO. As you can see though, the combat or shooting mechanics, overall premise, character movement, the graphic design or world, looks like if The Division and The Last of Us had a baby, this would be the game that comes out. For those who have played, how the crafting menu resembles The Last of Us when he was crafting the bandages, the way the character moved while being crouched, it all screamed The Last of Us. One thing I did notice during the gameplay though, was a particular scene when they went into the elevator and headed up to the second floor. Is there a stealth element to where the zombies don't hear you if you're crouching? They don't see the flashlight, so are they blind and can only hear? Was that just a particular circumstance where, in another instance, they will see the flashlight, and that just so happened to be a coincidence for that particular scene of the trailer? Who knows? But not hearing them while crouched is one thing. Once they didn't see the flashlight, that's when I got a little curious. Other than that, we didn't see any of the safe house elements or too much of the looting to know how exactly the inventory system works. Is there a limited amount based on backpacks or a flat X amount of space that you then have to return back to base to drop things off? We don't know those things, yet. but it'd be nice to see them. Nonetheless, definitely excited and intrigued at the very least but I do have some concerns and doubts that I'm not going to just ignore. However, I want to know what you guys think about the game. Let me know down in the comment section below. 
Are you interested in seeing this game come out? Are you looking forward to playing it? Do you think it's going to be a hit? Do you think it's going to be a hidden gem? Or is it one of those games that looks like it's in over its head and the trailer makes it a little too good to be true? If you're still watching at this point, make that like button blue and I'm out.